another problem that I'm going to solve is about shear stress. No, uh, here's the problem: the 150 kilogram bucket is suspended from end A of the frame. So, if the diameters of the pins at A and D are six millimeters and ten millimeters respectively, determine the average shear stress developed in these pins. Each pin is subjected to double shear. So for this one, we first solve for the reaction at A. So what we are going to do is cut the cable para ma solve ang tension sa cable. And then after this, we solve for the reactions at the reaction at A. And then after this, we dismember the frame and then isolate member C, D, A para masolve ang force sa B, D so that we can solve for the shear stress sa D. Okay. So first, we consider the whole frame and then cut and then assign a force tension sa cable C, F. And then TCF, and then resolve the force into components, horizontal and vertical. Since the angle is referred to vertical, so the vertical component will now be the adjusted side, while the horizontal will be the opposite side. So this will be TCF sine opposite man. This is side 30 and the vertical component adjacent side TCF cosine 30. And then we have the weight of the bucket, 150 kilograms. So if we will convert this one to newtons, we will multiply the value by 9.81. And so the value is 1,471.5. Newtons. And then reaction sa A. Pin money. So, duha, no? R R A X and R A Y. <clears throat> so, we have three unknowns R A X, R A Y, and T C F. So, using statics, equilibrium conditions, we sum up moment about A and we can solve for T C F. Yeah. So, Summation of moment about A equal to zero. Our sign convention is counterclockwise direction positive. <laughs> this component zero a moment since the force will pass through point A. So we only have this one and uh, wait no. So, TCF sign 30 times 1.8 that's 0.6 plus 1.2 while the moment arm or the perpendicular distance of the weight to A is 1.2. And so solving for TCF, we have this one. So after this, we now solve for the components of the reaction at A. So summation of force horizontal, this force and then this force. So we have RAX equal to 981 newtons, positive, so directed to the right. And summation of force vertical. We have three forces, this one, this, and then this one. Positive, therefore, upward. And after this, we compute for the magnitude or the resultant. Using components RAX and RAY. So the resultant reaction at A is 3318.93 newtons. And we already have the value of R and the diameter sa A, which is 6. That was double shear. We can compute for the average shear stress. So RA, area is. 2 times area of circle. 
Yan. Das, das at A is 58.7 mega pascal. <coughs> And for the average shear stress at B, we need to dismember the frame. We isolate member CDE and solve for the force in link BD. Uh, so consider member CDE, this one. And we sum up moment at C, C in spin Raman said. Ne? So let's assume the tension, although it's clear here in the compression. Zawa. Because of this force, this member will experience compressive compressive stress or will be in compression. Okay, let's just assume na tension and later on ma prove na to na compression. So <clears throat> this angle is although not given pero base uh, dimensions 0.6 and 0.6 equal. So, this angle is 45 degrees. So, <clears throat> we have this one. Cosine FBD. Or FBD cosine 45. And FBD sine 45. And then we have this weight. Na 1,471.5 newtons. So, summing up moment about C. We can solve for if B B. Puro lang negative o. Negative. Clockwise man. Clockwise. Negative. Therefore, compression. Okay. The assumption is tension man. Tapos lang negative. Therefore, compression. So, we now have the force. And given the diameter sa D na 10 mm. Then... We can solve for the average shear stress. Again, the pin at D is in double shear. So the area will be multiplied by 2. So solving this one, the average shear stress at D is 26.5 mega pascal. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching.